Greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the review from a technician's point of view. And today we're going to do Abyssal SpotBot unboxing. Now I don't do a lot of unboxings here on the channel, but this one was a personal item that I bought for myself. If you're subscribed to the channel, you'll be asking why I would be buying Abyssal SpotBot. Again, haven't I had like three of these things? Yes, I have. And the reason I keep buying this is this is the only device that does the set it and forget it method of carpet pickup. Meaning I can set this down somewhere, when the cat puked, press a button, walk away, come back and just empty the tank. And I don't know if Bissell has a patent on this still. I don't think they would, because this device is at least 15 years old they've been making when they first started making these, but I, I digress. Anyways, they're the only ones that have this device, which is why I keep buying it. I buy this understanding this is a disposable commodity, but it's something that I use a lot in my house. As you can see, the box is very plain. There's not much to it. Let's go ahead and open it from the bottom. The previous versions of this product had really nice boxes. This one is really plain Jane. And you get a manual. You get a formula, which I, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't use their formula. The reason I don't recommend that using the Bissell for, formula is it was once the plastic base, uh, which would further the stain in the carpets. The newer formula isn't much better. I recommend using an enzyme base or so, something that's approved by the Carpet and Rug Institute. Let's talk about what's here. And we just have a plastic wrapped piece. So only other thing that we get is a tool. This is very, very basic. You don't get a lot with this. Now the tank, I think this is the most interesting part to me is I've always had to fill the tank upside down. In fact, let me show you the old tank. I'm just gonna compare the old to the new. So they have made the tank slightly larger, but more importantly, rather than the tank being bottom fill only, now you can leave the tank in the device and fill it up. Upon looking at the manual, it would appear that this cap design is you're supposed to stick a bottle in here, a proprietary bottle, and use that for solution. Seems like a bad idea to me, but that's why they changed the tank. They've also changed the button layout, though it says quick deep clean hose to tools and stop. So same buttons as always. There's just no uh, pause button like there used to be. And that's something I guess I'm gonna miss. The pause button is useful if you get a phone call or something and you need to pause the machine rather than stopping and having to do the cycle over. These machines are quite loud if you've never had one of these. Oh, they've gone back to the double bristle for a while, we take a look at mine, but for a while they went away from the bristles. I'll put a picture in here for you. And they went to some very strange pieces of plastic which broke, it's one of the first things to break on mine. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but what's nice is you have this circle, you can just set it and forget it. And the circle happens to be the perfect size for most cat vomit. So if you have a cat who has a hairball or vomit as they do, that's just kind of part of their nature. Now the reason I'm replacing my previous one is the pump has gone bad uh, for the second time. The other thing that I've had to replace on my old one, this one feels a little bit more flexible, but the hose. So, and if you're unaware, why we're talking about this, you do have a hand tool. And this is really nice if you just need to do your car, you need to do stairs, or if you happen to spill liquid on the carpet. So why this does extract, it extracts much better with the hand tool. And if you spill wine or something like that on the carpet, that's where this would really come in handy. So 
So that's where I've used that in the past. And all this just kind of wraps around here like so, and that just clips in there. So it does store very compactly. And then on the rear, if you're unaware, it's like a 20 foot cord or so. It, it always seems much longer than I need and I never really unravel it the full length. I usually only unravel a couple feet. I have a lot of plugs in my house, but that just winds there. Like so. And then what's nice is you can unwrap it from the top or the bottom if you need. The working vacuum number isn't really as important here as the sealed number for probably the first time ever on the channel. About 30 inches sealed and almost unmeasurable working. Now, why would I be okay with those numbers? Well, it's very simple. This is not a 12 inch nozzle, it's distributing this over. This is either distributing a six inch nozzle or a three inch nozzle. So that suction is going maybe a little further than it would normally go on say a carpet cleaner, but it's still pretty anemic. Again, this is for spot pickup. This is not for getting your wall to wall carpets clean and doing your whole room. This is simply just for doing small areas. So the last one of these things I bought was a 2016 model, this red one. So here we are in 2021, almost 2022. So that's about what you're gonna get out of these things in terms of life. Again, it's not gonna die immediately, but do expect over time to have to replace things as I did with my previous model here. I also had to replace the pump and the hose and then I had the piece break down there. So I just wanna state that go into this knowing that this is not a super heavy duty product. The vacuum motors seem to be strong enough on here and those don't seem to go out. So that's the good news. The plastic casing on this newer style, which are both of these, seem to be pretty strong. The previous generation used to have a problem with them breaking, but again, they seem to have fixed that with the newer generation like you see here. So that's why I've bought a second one of these. That's why I still kind of recommend this to any pet owner. Because of this device and using the right chemical on it, I don't have any pet stains on my carpet. And I think that is worth whatever the price this is every couple of years to me at least. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Uh, check out the links below if you want to purchase one of these and help support the channel, there's a link down below. If you really like what we're doing, check out Patreon. That's another great way to support the channel and you get to see exclusive content and early content. We also talk about vacuum cleaners and carpet cleaners and things like this all day on our Discord. Again, link below. Have yourself a wonderful day.